Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. In today's video, we're going to do something that apparently Microsoft couldn't figure out how to do, and it's enabled um, a deauthentication in Mac Catalyst. As you can see here, a year ago, uh, people requested to support MSAL since it's the Microsoft authentication, the Microsoft framework, and Maui is supposed to be there to help people get into the Microsoft ecosystem. And after a lot, a lot, a lot of comments, they decided that my catalyst is too hard, so they gave up. So then looking here, I saw that Auth0 was able to figure it out. So I took a day out of my life, that simple, and figure it out. So as always, the code is available in my GitHub, so feel free to just go there, grab it, and copy and paste. Uh, I'll go through kind of like a little bit of an overview here. I'm not gonna type it all out or anything. So hope this video helps. So in here, we just have the classic Maui app, didn't do much. Um, I literally just have a button that says login and you actually have to like, and it'll give you the token. Uh, I, I don't do anything else, like doesn't actually call anything or anything. It's just to get you started with this. So I created an authentication service and that authentication service has a get token. So in here, you pass this, the scopes and silent only is if you don't want to show the browser, if they're not logged in, it'll just like fail and return an empty string. So first thing we do is we try to get the token from storage. And in here we had to do the difference. And this is one of the reasons why Microsoft couldn't do it. Uh, secure storage doesn't work in uh, Mac Catalyst, but preferences works. And it's basically almost as secure. Basically what we do here is we store the refresh token and if there's nothing, we return nothing. So this would be if you already logged in and you don't have to log in again. So if it's not empty, we check when it expires. And if it doesn't expire right now, we return the access token. If not, we go and get a refresh token. You don't have to figure any of this out. I already called the refresh token API and everything. So just call this and you get the token. If you don't have a token already, we do get a web token. And in here I have the Windows stuff. This is because I was testing it also in Windows. I don't really like using this. I, you have to have an extension because Web Authenticator doesn't work on Windows in Maui. And this kind of speaks a little bit about the status of Maui for desktop. It's half of the stuff doesn't work on Windows, half of the stuff doesn't work on Mac Catalyst and you have to use extensions and workarounds. So I, ha I have a lot of people ask me like, should we use Maui in production and everything? I did. And now I have to find all these workarounds. So up to you, it depends how much sense of adventure you have, but the more we use it, maybe Microsoft will pay more attention to it. But if not, you just call the web authenticator, authenticate and you create the, you pass the scopes and I already have the redirect URI that you do have to set up. So this one you have to set up here. And then in the info P list under the Mac Catalyst stuff, you have to create the, the same kind of uh, URL scheme and call the Maui map. This is for like Mac to know where to return the token to, because you, basically this will open a browser, you log in, and then it has to return the token somewhere in the application. So I just called it Maui Mac and we can see here Maui Mac call back. So going back here, we basically create that and then we send it to Azure, get token from Azure, and we return it. So it's pretty straightforward. It's a few functions. Uh, you honestly don't have to know that much because it will just work as long as you set the get token from storage and all that stuff. And you set your uh, app settings here. So you'll have to change your scopes here. You do need the offline access for refresh tokens. Uh, then here you just set up your uh, client ID, if you're not using a multi-tenant application, this would be your tenant ID instead of common. So yeah, other than that, feel free to use this code and start getting tokens in Mac. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.